The engine control module, or ECM for short, is essentially the brain of your car. Its job is to control the air fuel ratio, ignition timing, idle speed, and emissions by processing data from various sensors. It also triggers the check engine light and stores trouble codes that can be read with an OBD2 scanner. The location of the ECM varies between cars. It's most commonly found in the engine bay, but in some vehicles, it's inside the dashboard. I'll leave a great repair manual in the description below to help you find it. Now before we get into the symptoms, keep in mind not all of them will happen at once. The ECM is made up of different circuits that control specific functions, so the issues you experience will depend on which part of the ECM is failing. It's also very important to mention that the ECM should always be your last option when diagnosing an issue. One of the first signs of a failing ECM is the check engine light turning on. Here's some codes that can pop up. You can read these codes with an OBD2 scanner, I'll leave a great one in the description below. A failing ECM can also trigger random engine codes or multiple warning lights. And no matter what you do, replacing sensors, checking for damaged wires, inspecting connections for corrosion, the problem persists and the check engine light refuses to turn off. In some cases, this happens due to internal ECM damage. Water can get inside and cause corrosion, or there could have been a short in a specific circuit. The second symptom is poor acceleration. If your car feels sluggish when you press on the gas pedal, the ECM could be the problem. A faulty ECM can misinterpret the throttle position sensor data and incorrectly adjust the air fuel ratio. This will result in inefficient combustion, leading to sluggish acceleration. The third symptom is bad engine performance. A malfunctioning ECM can throw off fuel delivery and spark timing. This can cause misfires, a rough idle, or make the engine feel jerky while driving. This leads us to the next symptom, your vehicle stalling. If your engine randomly shuts off while driving, at a stop sign, or at a red light, a bad ECM could be the reason. Another symptom you could experience is poor fuel economy. A failing ECM can send incorrect fuel injection commands, leading to a rich condition, meaning too much fuel compared to air. As a result, your car will consume more fuel than usual, leading to you going to the gas station more often. The sixth symptom is starting issues. Since the ECM monitors key sensors like the crankshaft position sensor, mass airflow sensor, and oxygen sensors to control fuel injection and spark timing, if the ECM is faulty, it can send incorrect commands for fuel and spark, leading to a crank no start condition. In some situations, you could experience a no-crank, no-start if the ECM controls the anti-theft system in your vehicle. The last symptom of a bad ECM is having shifting issues. Your car might be shifting hard between gears or experiencing a delay when changing gears. This can happen because the ECM sends throttle position data to the transmission control module to ensure smooth shifting. If the ECM is sending incorrect data to the TCM, shifting issues can occur. I appreciate you all for watching this video. If you gained value, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.